Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and our 500,000 app puzzles are out apparently on Steam, Android and the App Store. I haven't actually had a chance to look yet, but you can look at these um, if you buy. No, you don't have to buy. You just have to download the app, which is free. Um, you could pay for the Domino Sudoku content and we'd be very grateful if you did, but you don't have to. You can just now get hold of the um, the 500,000 subs uh, puzzles. Over 20. Uh, I think there's 23. There's a maximum of 23. Let's say that. Some of the best constructors around and uh, you can get them on Steam, Android and the App Store. So do um, refresh. What is it? Uh, anyway, if you update i think that's what we call it if you update the app you will get not only those puzzles but also some um improvements to the app as well uh various things that people have suggested and uh so on to make it look and play better so those puzzles are available now and i highly recommend them that is great news that that's available um also of course as i mentioned the domino sudoku app all our other apps are separately downloadable uh, and you should try the lot of them, frankly. Um, and then there's our merchandise and in, on Patreon. First of all, in three days time, we'll be launching the September contest. Some new puzzles linked Sudoku, I think it's going to be. And uh, we're looking forward to that. But also maybe two or three days after that, uh, I will be putting up a listener crossword solve. That's the themed bard cryptic that pops up in the times every week and I just had a go at trying out a puzzle that, that um, just recording myself I do the puzzle every week so I thought I'd record what I do and see if it was an interesting enough puzzle to put up and it really is it's a lovely one so that'll be out on Patreon as well next week so loads coming up um, I'm sure many other things as well but this puzzle is by Owl, A-U-U-L, but it's, uh, I'm told to pronounce it Owl, which brings back horrible memories because, um, ah, there was this, actually, I looked it up. There was this puzzle that, that I did. Oh, no, I don't have the final grid um, anymore. But I managed to identify what was very obviously, and I see this in hindsight, a power um, icon from any electrical device as an owl's face, which is very embarrassing. Um, but there we go. And I think around the same time, I managed to completely not notice some other obvious picture. I am terrible at spotting pictures in grids. That is clearly the result. Talking of owl face, I came across a character called, um, well, I've heard of him from music, but Till Eulenspiegel. Apparently that means owl face. German, German correspondents can tell me what Till Oil and Spiegel is famous for, and if it really does mean owl face. Anyway, that is nothing to do with our constructor today, who is a debutante, a debutante indeed. Um, she has created this as the first puzzle she sent us. It got good feedback from Totally Normal Cat, and that is feedback worth having. Uh, and it's called City Planning. So I'm going to go through the rules and then give the puzzle a try. So the rules are these. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid are either skyscraper clues or self-numbered rooms. Uh, there is exactly one of each and it's up to the solver to work out which one is which. Uh, for each digit, sorry, there is exactly one of each rule. Now, what happens with a skyscraper clue? I'll tell you what, I'll do the self-numbered room one first because I've got an animation, I hope, for the skyscraper one. Self-numbered room clues indicate both the location of a digit n cells away from the edge along the given row or column and the digit n which will be found in that cell. That sounds very complicated, but it's really simple. A self-numbered four, so look at the four looking down this column. That says that four is in the fourth cell that it's looking from. And if you look, if this was the self-numbered four, you count four cells along and put a four there. So self-numbered rooms is a very easy rule to understand. Um, and much easier, actually, than numbered rooms, which has 
two variables, one of which is the digit and one of which is where it sits. And that manages to confuse me because of the nature of the two different variables. Now, what I was going to do is show you Chain Bear's animation of skyscraper rules because I think it's really useful in understanding. So I'll make my face a bit smaller. And then we will play this, which shows how you have to envision the digits in the grid as skyscrapers of that height. So here we have a row that in Sudoku terms just reads 2, 4, 5, 1, 3, 7, 9, 6, 8. And as I play the animation, you'll see that there's the row. And as we come at it from the left side, you can see five, the purple blocks. You can see two, four, five, seven, and nine. So the clue on the left of the grid would be a five. On the right of the grid, you just see eight and nine in purple. So the clue would be a two because you're seeing two blocks from that side. So that is how skyscraper clues work. And, um, oh, sorry, there we go. Um, and now I'm going to try and make my face bigger. And there we go. So that is the rules. Let me let me just so one of each. And we have to work out which nine is the skyscraper, which one is the numbered root, the self numbered rooms, and so on. There are, as you can see, two ones, two twos, etc. And those are the rules. Interesting idea little bit complicated, but I think that's worth a go. And let's start and let's get cracking. So I'm going to have to work out something about. Well, no, OK. Nine is an interesting place to start. One of these is definitely the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because if you're going to see nine skyscrapers, you have to see them all in ascending order. Um, and therefore, this digit is going to be a three, whether we're going one, two, three. In fact, one of these is going to be a one. One of these is going to be a two. Now, it's also true to say one of these will be a four, etc. Um, but I'm not going to mark those because I don't like doing corner marks across boxes. I do like doing it where there's only one or two places in a box. However, it is also true to say that both of these columns will end in nine. And I know that because the self-numbered room clue says there's a nine in the ninth um, column or row I see, and the skyscraper clue would have to end in a nine. So those are nines. Um, and I'm gonna look at ones next, and ones have a story to tell as well. A one skyscraper clue has to see the nine as the first block because otherwise it'll see the nine later on and there'll be at least two. Whereas the self-numbered rooms clue obviously has a one in the first cell. So that, both of those cells are one and nine, one or nine. And further than that, one is one and one is nine because we're told that one is a self-numbered rooms and one is a skyscraper clue. Now, the trouble with skyscrapers and why I find it hard to love as a genre is that apart from nine and one, all the others are very, very variable. These two clues, you'd think it's next after one, it'll be quite useful, but it absolutely doesn't mean that there has to be a nine there. Although if there is, that two will always be right. It will see another block and then the nine and then nothing else because they'll all be hidden by the nine. But it'll also always be right if that's an eight because the only other block it'll see in the row is the nine. And it'll also be right if whatever it sees before the nine is hidden behind this one. So it's just not as helpful. One is helpful. Nine is helpful. I suppose eight and seven are relatively helpful. Ah, and these sevens are in the same orientation. Yeah, and that means one of them is a numbered rooms clue. And one of these two digits is a seven. Now, I just said I don't like marking these corner marks across boxes, but I'm going to do it here because well, and the other one is seeing seven increases in the block. Eight ought to be useful as well. I don't know which of these eights is the skyscraper clue and which is the numbered room clue. 
I wish I did actually. Oh look, these sixes are in the same row. Right, well one of them's a numbered rooms clue. So if this six was a numbered rooms clue, there's a six here. And if this six was a numbered rooms clue, there's a six here, because it's the sixth column it sees. So there is a six in one of those two places. Now, oh, it's quite interesting. From the other end, let's say that was the numbered room six. Then from this end, it's a skyscraper. And we're going, and we're going to hit the six or a number before it that's higher. I don't think we can hit a number before it that's higher. Hmm. Ah, does that, if we're going to hit the six, let's say this is the six. And from this end, you could have three cells maximum there and then the six. But there's going to be a nine somewhere. The nine would have to be here. If it's a six from this end, the nine is here. If it's... Sorry, what am I saying? Sorry, yeah, I'm saying if it's a skyscraper from this end, the nine is here. If, on the other hand, it's a numbered room from this end, the six is here. So that cell is six or nine. And that is going to tell us that this is not a skyscraper on the eight. Because if you were to hit a six there, you can only hit three higher blocks behind it. And the clue couldn't be more than six. But it's eight. So that's not a skyscraper. I'm going to have to label these, aren't I? This is the skyscraper clue for eights. I'm going to label the skyscraper ones orange and the numbered rooms green. So that's an eight because this is the numbered rooms clue now. I don't actually know with anything else. I've made some deductions. Well, I'm, no, do I now know what the six is? No, I don't actually. That can still be six or nine. It just fixed the eight. But this is the skyscraper clue and that is useful with an eight because the first digit can't be higher than two and the next digit can't be higher than three. But you have to be careful because it doesn't mean like a thermo, I can then put two and three on it because this could be a hidden one. You could go two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it would still be eight. So although the digits only gradually increase what they can be, there's no lower limit because they could always be the hidden digit. Ah, so we get, does this say anything for the sevens? No, not really. They're too low to help with the seven clues. Oh, goodness, have to find something else that's useful. Um, Can this actually still be a one? If that was a one, this would have to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Oh yes, nine is in one of those two cells. Eight must be in one of these two. It can't occur before that. It's not there because we know that's a one nine pair. Ah, that's a one nine pair and they see this cell. So that can't be a one, which is not worth a lot, but I'm marking it. Oh, I don't know. So that green cell is done. One of these, okay, one of these sevens is, can that be a six? Well, yeah, I, the trouble is I'm assessing two what ifs on nested if statements. If that's a six, because this is a numbered room key, clue, then this can't be the skyscraper clue because after six, there's only three others. But that's, that's not how I want to be doing this puzzle particularly, I don't think. Oh, mind you, it's interesting from the other point of view, if that's the six because of the numbered room clue and this is the skyscraper, does this have to be quite high? No, it doesn't because the nine could be there. No, okay, sorry, I'm just thinking aloud and getting a bit stuck. 
I don't think these twos are any use at all. And four is an absolutely useless skyscraper number. Four says, the numbered room says there's a four in one. Oh, I suppose the two says, ah, the two says that one of these is a numbered room clue. So there is a two in one of those two cells. So that can't be a two actually. Oh, and that's quite interesting, isn't it? If that's a three, Then after that, we go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, although somewhere one or two would be hidden. Oh, it's not that useful. If that was a one, we'd be away. Then this would have to go two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way. No, I'm not really finding anything. Fours are useless. Threes are useless. No, threes are not useless. This three can't be the numbered rooms clue because that can't be a three because we placed that. So this is the skyscraper clue. This is the numbered rooms clue. And there's a three here. And what does that do for this six clue, if anything? Can this be the skyscraper? three, four, five, six, which would be where the six was because of the numbered room clue if this was the skyscraper, and then some bigger numbers finishing in a nine. So in fact, the six could even be hidden, three, four, seven, no. If that's a six, it's on the path. But the skyscraper clue could still go that way. The numbered rooms clue could go that way. We're not fixed on the sixes at all. What about this skyscraper clue? It doesn't even mean that can't be a nine, I'm afraid. Hmm. Okay, have we got any further on these? The skyscraper nine is gonna be incredibly helpful when we can figure it out. I just want a reason to rule out either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that way, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that way. I can't think of one at the moment. Oh, I've looked at all the clues now. This is difficult. Okay, one of the sevens is a skyscraper. Oh, I was suddenly thinking if that is a skyscraper, which is what I've marked it as. Yes, this can't be the skyscraper because it would have to count up to the nine in the seventh cell and this would count to the nine in the third cell because those two clues in the column add up to 10. If they were both skyscrapers, that's telling you it's meeting the biggest uh, skyscraper here, but that cannot be a nine because of that. So this is not the skyscraper clue. This is the numbered rooms clue. That gives us a seven here. That means this is not a seven. This is the skyscraper clue, which is theoretically more useful. That seven makes it very tempting to think this is the skyscraper clue, but we haven't actually ruled that one out. But this, now, this is similar to that. If eight can only begin one, two, seven can only begin one, two, three, and then go up to a maximum of four at the next stop. Five at the next. Oh, that's really interesting. Whichever one of these is a one. Ah, oh, whichever one of these is a one, we're gonna get a one, two, three, four, five quintuple in the in column four or row six. Now I'm only just realizing if that's a one. That's not a one. So this becomes the skyscraper clue. So if that's a one, this is a six. And with six and one here, this skyscraper, which I've identified, wouldn't work. Yes, if that's a one, you can't have a one here. So you'd have a one here. This would be the skyscraper. That would be a six. They would both be hidden from view by the time you got there. So eight wouldn't be the right number. 
and therefore this is not a 1. This is a 9, and this is a 1, and we know that this is the skyscraper 1, this is the hidden room, uh, the, the, the self, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called, the self-numbered rooms clue. This is not a 9. Um, now does that not do any? Yes, that gives us this one, two, three, four, five quintuple that I was talking about. So two, three, four, five. This is a naked six now. It sees nine and seven in the row. One, two, three, four, five in the column and eight in the box. It really looks like this is going to be the skyscraper, but that is still not a deduction. It's just an expectation at this point. Oh, you know, it's done. Sorry, that one has ruled out a one from here. So this is where one goes. This is the skyscraper. Uh, we've done so much of it before. There's only a few digits to fill in now, but that's the skyscraper. This nine is the numbered rooms key clue, which doesn't really matter, but let's do completeness. Now, what else have we learned? That, I mean, that's a lot of digits suddenly in the grid. This one is... Yeah, I shouldn't just fill in the possibilities. I should actually think how this is going to work. We need seven. Right, that's going to be hidden and that's going to be hidden. That is going to be hidden by one of these. So they're the hidden digits. Everything else must ascend in the column. So two, oops, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Um... Now, in this column, in this row, I mean, which is an eight skyscraper, right, we need six, seven, and eight to come behind the five, because the five is going to have to be the fourth skyscraper seen from that view, then six in one of those two cells, and then seven and eight here. They can't be in this box, so we can fill in seven and eight there. Six is in one of those. And these have to increase all the way up to the five. So that can't be a one or a two. And this can't be a one. They have to increase all the way. So that's a three, that's a four. And these are from one, two, and six. Oh, I find this very complicated. So the green clues are all done. In fact, the oranges, apart from this three, they're pretty much done now. It doesn't really matter whether that's one or two and where six goes. That's a two, three, seven, triple to complete the box. Now there's still gonna be a two in one of those because of the two clues. Now, five, haven't looked at five. Aha, five cannot be a numbered rooms clue here because we've got a five there. So this is the skyscraper clue. This is the numbered rooms clue and that puts a five here. Four, Yes, four can't be numbered rooms this way, so that's a skyscraper clue. This is the numbered rooms clue, and that's a four. Three, we've done three. So it's only the, oh, sixes. Yes, one of those was a six. It's now here, so that's a numbered room for that side. This side is a skyscraper, and this, that's the last thing coloured apart from the two. So let's look at this skyscraper. Oh, it can't go three, four, five, six. I thought it was going to have to. Oh, I'm really confused now. Hang on. Oh, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is six skyscrapers. Okay, so the five is here. Then... Ah, oh, nine can't be any further along than here. So we can put in nine, eight, seven. That fixes seven at the top. I was getting very concerned there. That's not two, that's not a six, which is quite important because we can place six. Um, four in the middle column. These are from one, two, and five, but this one can't be the five. So we've ended up with a one, two pair in column one. Now, we also know one of these is a two. 
And in the other case, it's a skyscraper. But as I said, actually, they're not really very useful. Now, I haven't talked about not useful. I haven't looked at the four and the five and the three skyscraper clues. Right, the three is going to hit that seven because nine and eight being there, nothing bigger can come before it. So that seven is going to be seen. Whatever this is, is going to be seen. So that's two. And then it's going to see the nine in one of these cells. So this has to be bigger than this. Just going to mark that yellow to see if that helps me remember a sort of fortress relationship that row one, column three is bigger than row two, column three. Um, there's an eight there. That's just Sudoku. There's a seven in one of those cells. There's an eight in one of those, a nine in one of those, five somewhere there. Three in one of those two, seven, eight, nine, four, a five in one of those. That's an X wing on fives, which puts a five up here. Now that's interesting because that five in this four skyscraper coming down here, it's going to finish at the nine. The five is going to block the one and the four. So the four digits it sees are those four. So this is going to have to be bigger than 5, and it can't be 7, 8, or 9. That's a 6. 5 is now going to have to come here, and a smaller digit here, which is a 2. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really lovely. 7 or 8 here. Oh, and I've broken it, because a 4 skyscraper cannot start with 7 or 8. So I bet it's something I understood wrong in this column. Now, I got to this point. I said, I've got a 5 here. because of this skyscraper clue, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe that. So there is a five there. There's a five here by Sudoku. So there must be a five in one of these cells. Now, what I then thought was that for this, that's going to hide the one and the four. So all of these four cells must be skyscrapers. This has to be bigger than five. It's got to be six. How is that wrong? That's right. Oh, well, then I thought this has to be where five goes and this has to be a smaller digit. But I now see that can't be any of one, two, three, four, five or six. How can that be smaller than five then? OK, it's not a skyscraper clue, is it? It's green, Mark. Can't you tell your colours? Right, where did we get to properly? Here. There is a five in one of those two cells. This is not a skyscraper clue because the four skyscraper clue is here. Right. Sorry about that. Thank goodness it's not broken. I'm just a dumb cop now. That's not a two by Sudoku. This is a four and it's going to hit a nine in one of those. can't start with a seven. So it starts with two, five or six. It's mostly getting bigger along the way. Uh, I probably need more information. What about this five? That two is going to be definitely hidden. Oh, OK, that's one or eight. That's one or f sorry, that's one or five. Ah, no, that's no good. If Oh, it might be all right. OK, I was going to say neither can be a one, but. Oh, no, it's the other way round, actually. If this was a five, how are you possibly going to see five cells? Oh, something, 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 then eight. Right. Right. If this was a one, the cell that I'm in, let's try it this way round. If this was a one, the two and the one will definitely be hidden. That will be a five. And you can't see that because these can't only be three and four. 
and you're not allowed another smaller number because of two and one there. So that's not a one. That logic is right. So that's an eight. And that's the fourth cell we see in this row. So these ascend. Um, and this can't be one or two. Okay, that's interesting. So three, four, three or four. I was going to say four or five here because I've just noticed this can't be a seven. So five or six there, but this can't be a five. So that's four. That's three. This is definitely a skyscraper glue. I've got that right this time. Um, and this can be five or six and it's working. Okay. Now, there's definitely a three in one of those cells. And the marking tells me that that one is bigger than that. But it could be three, two. So which would be an interesting deadly pattern, but probably it would be resolved by this clue if that's what happens. But it could easily go three and then a bigger number, five or six. Ah, now one of these is a two in the column. I am going to pencil mark that now. Oh, and this... Oh, this is broken. No, that's not broken. Green is a number, self-numbered rooms clue. That's fine. Oh, I'm so slow about this. Right, come on. Oh, I think we're getting there now. One of these is a two. It doesn't matter if it's hidden, but... But... But it makes this naked. That's so weird. Look, one of those is a two. So this cell is seeing that two and eight, five, three, nine, four in the column and one seven in the row. That is a six. Everything else in the column is a one, two or seven. But the two is in one of the top two positions and not there. Now, what about this two? Oh, one of these is skyscraper. And the other one is the numbered rooms that puts the two there. don't quite know what to do with that. Let's do a bit of pencil marking because I know how to do that. <clears throat> One of these is a seven. Um, now the brown clues, these are the important ones. I haven't got many left to do, but this four is sticking out like a sore thumb. Still got to resolve the twos and I haven't really done that three. I mean, I just know that the brown is bigger than the yellow. Oh, that is five or eight, just by Sudoku. Four, five or eight there. One, four, three, eight. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, three. That's two or six. I wish something would help here. That's one or nine in the column. I'm going to have to go back to thinking about the twos again. That's very irritating. Now, that can be a seven, and Skyscraper would work. That can't be a seven, obviously. We've got a seven there. So, if that was a seven, the skyscraper thing is not going to work because that'll be smaller. Okay, so the skyscraper, if that was a seven, this couldn't be a skyscraper row. It would have to be, oh, but it also couldn't be a numbered rooms, self numbered rooms row because that couldn't be two. So that is not seven. That fixes where seven is in this box. It's here. Now, it doesn't tell me which of these rows is which, but it gives me a seven down here, um, which five or six there, because there's a one, two pair above it, one or two there. This, in fact, is a nine, six pair now, which is nice, and that fixes this five. Right, six there. The five makes this a one. We've got a seven, six pair on this side. That can't be a six now, so we might get into this four clue in a minute. Um, six, seven, three, nine. These are from one, two, four, five, eight. Right. Does that mean it's the trouble is, oh, this has become a nine by Sudoku. Five there. Right. That's a two. Now, now, oh, hang on. Let's just do the Sudoku. We might actually get there without thinking about it. Right. Two there. This is the numbered rooms. This is the skyscraper row for two. So, this cell has to be bigger than 
the two yellow cells. And we've got four and five left to place in the column, two and three here, so that is a deadly pattern. But now we can resolve that in this row. That has to be orange, uh, brown, orange has to be bigger than yellow. So there we go, three, two. So that clue has worked. This is now always going to be bigger, so we are resolved. We've got a four, five, eight triple across the top, so that's a nine. That might be the last, no, it's not the last nine in the grid. One there, oh, that's doing a lot. Right, one and a three nine pair. This is an eight four pair that get written in now. Has this clue worked? Two, four, eight, nine, yes. That's six, I think we're suddenly finishing off now. That's a very interesting and clever puzzle. Five eight pair makes that a four. That fixes five and four, then we go back and fix eight and five. Seven and six, top three rows are done. Two, eight, four, six. That's three or five, that's one, three or five. Have I got any clues left? Have I forgotten a clue? This is a naked five. Four, six, three, seven, eight, nine in the column, one, two in the row. That means we're gonna get everything fixed whether I have forgotten a clue or not. Uh, we can do two and one here and five and a one to finish. Yes, that's a very good puzzle, Al. Thank you for sending that. Welcome to the community of people who've had puzzles solved on Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, you are a very welcome addition. And uh, there's not meant to be a picture at the end of this. So I'm not just being a dummy by not being able to recognize that. Uh, that's a really good puzzle. Enjoyed it a lot. Hope you had a go. And very much hope to see you again on the channel tomorrow. Bye for now.